Years ago, I saw this knife tray in a colonial Williamsburg home. It sat on a table about 20 feet away. So this is an approximate representation of what I saw and sketched by hand. Recently, I came across my hand drawing that was made in the 1970s. I quickly scanned and imported this drawing to SketchUp. The hand drawing is adequate for shop work, but I'm now used to the advantages of having the 3D model and its helpful products in the workshop. So the following video shows how I go from a hand drawing to SketchUp model. To avoid a lengthy video, I will break this process into several steps. On this imported drawing, you can see some of my previous traceover lines in red and faces in blue-gray. I want to capture sizes and shapes of all the tray's components. Using the tape measure, line tool, and arc tool, all of the important information is captured in these small groups. The first step in modeling is to make the side component from this group. So I'll copy this face, this group, over to the right down the red axis for the building of the model. Of course, we have only half the symmetrical portion of the side, so I need to build this out. I'll edit the group. Also, I need to add some space over here on the end to account for the dovetails that will be added later. So there's three-eighths of an inch that, that needs to be added onto this group. Delete that extra edge. And double click and bring over the copy of the half symmetrical shape. Flip it along the red axis and connect it at the center point. And again, I can erase the center line. We still have a group here. This is, I haven't turned this into a component. Also, I was in parallel projection, changing that back to perspective. And I can give this its thickness now, which is three-eighths of an inch. I notice that I'm in the style that I make for this for red lines and I'm changing that back to the normal normal style and explode and make a component called side and I need to smooth out those extra lines uh, with a smoothing tool. And while I'm at it, I'll make a new scene and call that Build. This side is in a vertical configuration and that's not the way it needs to be. It needs to be angled, splayed out. And I'll bring over the end view group that I've traced over in the drawing, rotate it 90 degrees for its position relative to the side component, and connect it at the corner, upper corner here, and you can see then the, the angle of the end and what we need to do 
to orient the side and attach it properly. Select it, pick the rotate tool, click on that connection and rotate over to connect to the end grouping. The bottom of the side piece now needs some work. It's not an angled edge that will sit on the bottom of the tray so I need to add a little wedge of material and do a little bit of cleanup on that bottom edge adding that wedge and changing its face color and now coming to the end com uh, end group it also needs an extension to provide material for the dovetails that I'll add later in the corner connection so I've added that 3 8 of a material and delete the extra edge again we have a half symmetrical copy that half and flip it and bring it back into connection in the center and delete the center line this is still a group and I want to change that to a component explode make component and call that end we need the 3 8 thickness edit the component push pull out 3 8 of an inch now there's an extra edge up here that I can smooth out with the eraser and the control key and now I've got a side and an end component I want to stop here